In this video, we talk about scooter rental, where, how much, things you need to know, and we go over a few tips to keep in mind when renting a scooter in Thailand. Forget to be specific, but it doesn't really matter where you are because the basics stay the same. When you search the web for scooter rental in Thailand, you won't find a lot of options available. This is mainly because most shops here don't have websites or Google links, and not because they don't exist. When you arrive, you will find scooter rentals across almost every street, and then it becomes a matter of choosing the right one. So take an hour or two, walk around, talk to a few owners, ask the prices and chat about the terms and conditions. We are traveling for an extended period of time. There's a few things to keep in mind when choosing the shop to rent from. Like does it fit our budget? How is the condition of the scooter? And super important, does the owner speak good English? This will make things a lot easier if you are in a situation where your scooter breaks down somewhere, if you are involved in a road accident, or something as simple as calling to extend your renting time. The shop we ended up choosing is KT Shop, Bike and Car Rental. This guy is friendly, speaks good English, his scooters are quite new and in good condition and he will give you a nice discount if you rent for long term. We are currently renting a 125cc Honda Click for 2500 Thai baht per month. This is almost half of the price than what it is in season, which is normally around 4500 Thai baht. The price of a scooter depends on a few things. When you rent the scooter, in season or out of season, for how long you rent, daily, weekly, monthly, and then of course the size and the model of the scooter. When you first rent a scooter, you will have to bring your passport for him to make a copy of it, a deposit ranging from 2 to 3,000 Thai baht, and sign a contract with the basic rental agreement. And something nice for us is that KT Shop can bring your scooter to your hotel if you live near Rawai or Naiharan area. We have left his Facebook and Google link in the description below if you want to contact him. That said, before you take the scooter, he will check everything for you as well as take photos of the current state of the scooter, then send them to you directly through line. This is a super important step for us. We normally take videos of all the scooters we rent in Thailand, then keep it for when we return the bike. This is mainly to make sure we don't have to pay for any scratches on the bike that's already been there. In our experience, most of the rental shops are honest and trustworthy, but we have also experienced the opposite as well.
almost every district in Phuket, we have a favorite place to eat and in Mohang district, it's elephant number nine. Located on the north side of Naiharan, they have the best pizzas and Thai food in the area, as well as a lovely drive to the restaurant. Will I cry? <laughs> 